Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming this very glam Valentine's Day makeup look and I really like how it turned out. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. Clearly you want to see how I got this look so let's just get into it. Okay guys, so starting out this look we are going to take the big fluffy brush that we always use and I'm going to first go into the Christmas in New York palette by Too Faced. I'm going to take this bone colored shade called Banana Date and put that all over the lids. I've already primed and everything so we good to go. Didn't forget this time. Mm -hmm. I always forget. We going glam today. I was really not in the mood to do anything at all today but I was like mm -mm, gotta get up and do something with your life Taylor. I knew I wanted to film one more Valentine's Day look for you all. So we're going in. Okay, next I'm going to go in my e.l.f. blender brush. And I'm going to take... I'm going to take Cashew Chew, which is this pinky shade right here. And this is in the Too Faced Chocolate Bomb Bomb palette. And we're going to put that in the crease. Really, Travis? You gotta steal my thunder here. Living with siblings is great. I'm trying to film. Now to add some color, I'm going to take this denser crease brush and I'm going to go into, I'm going to go into Bon Fresco, however you say that, in the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance. And we're just going to put that to start building up our color. Okay, now to add a lot of color, I'm going to go in with Love Letter here, which is a really pretty, really pretty pink color, and we're going to put that in the crease also. Oh, oh. I think I want some sparkle in this look. Yeah. Okay, now for the lid shade, I'm going to go back into the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbon and I'm going to take Cotton Candy, which is this bright, bright pink color. We're taking it all the way, guys. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous shimmer. It's stunning. And it's really going to tie into that crease color that we have because right now the crease is just kind of standing by itself. So we want to add a little something to balance it out. Okay, now I want to add something to deepen this look up. So I'm going to go in with this dark brown color which is called Cypress Umbar. And I'm going to put that in my outer crease area. Okay, so that's going to be it for the shadow. We have a very, very, very bright shadow, and I'm loving it. So I went ahead and applied some winged eyeliner off camera because I know I wouldn't even have been in focus if I would have been on camera. So now we're just going to move on to the foundation portion. Um, I'm going to be using the Rimmel London Lasting Finish Foundation with Comfort Serum. This stuff is all good. And then I'm just going to take my L'Oreal sponge and blend out the foundation. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, and then I'm going to be going in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and we're going to conceal under our eyeliners. The fun part. Time. Oh no, I just dropped concealer on the floor. <laughs> Whoops. And we're going to take the other side of the L'Oreal sponge and blend that out. I need a new one of these, and it's only been like a week. This thing is perfect for getting underneath of your wing. Do me good. If any of you all get stressed out because your beauty blender like won't get perfectly under your wing and sometimes you just like mess up your eyeshadow, this is really good for that because it has a nice pointed tip so that it helps you get that precise line. Get you some. Okay, now I'm gonna set my under eyes. I'm gonna be going in with the Anastasia Contour Kit. And we're going to take the banana powder and put that all under our eyes, as we do. I'm living for this eye makeup, guys. Okay, now to set the rest of the face, I'm going to be going in with this e.l.f. Perfect Finish, Finish HD Powder. I have been really, really, really liking this stuff. I really feel like I want to go shopping today. It is literally gorgeous outside right now. Can't get over it. Okay, so moving on to bronzer, I'm going to be going in with this NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder, and this is in the shade Sunny. I've really, really been liking this bronzer just for like an everyday look, and I've been using my Revlon little blush brush for my contour really been working for me now for blush I'm gonna go in with a very 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 subtle blush since our eyes are so pink we don't want to kind of clash the pinks together so so I'm going to be taking this butter blush physicians formula and this is in plum rose this is a very very subtle blush but it's also very 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 pretty next we're gonna highlight okay so since I don't want a pinky highlight I'm gonna go into this BH cosmetics by Carly Bible palette and I'm gonna take this really shimmery gold highlight shade and just apply that to the cheekbones. That's a gorgeous highlight. Mm. Now finishing up the eyes, I go back in with the Too Faced Chocolate Bomb Bomb Palette. I'm going to take Satin Sheets, which is, this, which is this really gorgeous highlight shade right here. I'm going to put that in the inner corner and right above the brow bone. We're going to really bring a lot of pink to this look, if it wasn't pink enough already. Next, I'm going to do my brows and apply false lashes off camera, and then I'll be right back to finish up the look. I just realized as I was applying my mascara that I forgot to finish the eyes, so we're going to do that real quick. Uh, the first brush that I'm going to go in with, I'm going to first go in with this fluffy brush right here. And all I'm going to take is Bon Frisco right there, and we're going to smudge that under the lash line. I'm going to take this small eye angled eyeshadow brush and Cypress Umbar and we're going to put that really close to the lashes. Okay, and that is literally it for the bottom lashes. I'm, I'm just going to go back in and blend that out and then that'll be it for the lower lash line. So I went ahead and applied some false lashes and mascara. I used the Kiss, let me get them for you. Kiss True Volume Lashes, and I really liked them. It was really easy to apply on this side, but for some reason, this eye was always more difficult to apply than this eye. Does anyone else have that problem? Because I feel like this eye is just a little bit smaller than this eye. I don't know. But now, we're just going to finish up with the lips. So first, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline 
Bold. This is in Nude Thrill 755. And it's just the moisturizing lip sync. And I didn't want to do anything too crazy with the lips since we have so much going on with our eyes. But I think this is a very, very wearable glam look. Like some glam looks I see and I'm just like, I would never wear that out in public. Whereas this one is very wearable and more subtle, I would say. <laughs> Even though it's not really subtle. I feel like I say I would say a lot. Now I'm going to go in with the NYX Butter Gloss. This is in the, just, and this is in the shade Tiramisu. It's just a very nude. Okay, and this is going to be the completed look. Hey guys, so that is going to complete this video. I hope you all liked it. And if you did, go ahead and drop it a thumbs up. That would really mean a lot to me. And also subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more of my videos and my face every day and in your subscription box. Uh, I had a lot of fun filming this. If you haven't seen all of my Valentine's Day videos, then just check them out. They'll be, they were on my channel so you can go visit my channel if you want or I will have them linked down in the description box. Also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat for more of my everyday life and I hope you all enjoyed it. I love you so so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!